Hey guys, it's Jalen here with another fantastic Minecraft video. And what we're going to be doing today is another world. And this one is going to be in creative. And what we're going to be doing is making a villager spawner. Mm -hmm. Well, you know how you can mate the villagers? If a, lo if a lot of you didn't really know that. Um... And we're going to have a lot of cute puppies. It's Ethan here. Puppies. No awesome. But, um, though. They're the hardest. Really, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to build a um, villager mating thing. Villagers mate and stuff. So, um... I'll just be showing you guys uh, how to make it. So, here we go. Let it load. Let it load, let it load, let it load. <laughs> if you see in our last video, I was just showing you guys around the... I was. Okay, Ethan was showing you guys around the uh, survival place. <laughs> Which level is this? Did you make a new one? Um... Yeah. Ethan was showing you around the uh, survival thing, and it was a completely different world. And, um. Ethan's just wrapped up in a little blanket right now, but. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna find a piece of flat land. Okay. Just destroy that stuff. And what you're gonna do is get some stone and wooden doors. Ethan, I can get this. And then some eggs. And then you need villager eggs. Now, if you're in, um, if you're in survival and you're gonna be doing this, um, you need. Okay, you need to place them one, two, three, four, five the apart. Doors. The doors? Mm -hmm. Two, three, four, five, and then put two, and then one, two, three, four, five, one, two, two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that should be a perfect square. And then you fill just kind of fill that in. And, um,. They will make villager babies and just Um them. eventually they will I will show you guys how to breed them. Because you can make puppies and kittens and stuff, other stuff. You can make baby sheep and well sherps. And uh baby sherps aren't that cute, but the kittens are. Kittens are really cute. The puppies are kind of cute. Their heads are too big for their bodies though. Yeah. And uh this is what you do. You take it like this, make it and you make it one block away. You take it, and then... No, I didn't do that right. No, you didn't. You want me to do this part, girl? There, good. You do this, and then... Um, make sure you leave, like, a, something where they can stand right there. Like in the middle. And you take it like this, and you take it right here. You take it right here, and then that's it. it. And if you spawn two villagers, and then leave, and then leave, they should spawn. Well, Joan, how about you do some puppies now? Um, I don't know. Not working well, I'll show you guys the puppies. Uh, I don't know why that's not working. So it's probably working now. A lot of times it really works. It just depends on what size you make it. Iron bars and bone. And we need. If you want, if you want to make puppies, you need. Um, you need two dogs. 
Yeah. And you need cooked pork chops. What are you doing? Aren't you going to make like a little facility for them? No. And put them both in love mode. And we'll do this. Ta-da. It's a puppy. Oh. Sit down. No. And out. They are crazy. See it. Change. Sit. Change to the no blocks. There. Good dog. Come on, dogs. But, uh, yeah, you can do that with cats and dogs. With cats, it's just with raw fish. And with dogs, it's with pork chop or steak. You can do that. And um, I'm going to show you guys how to build a nice house. So, uh, that should be working. It should work here anytime. Or I can show you guys how to build a creeper trap. Ethan, which one do you think we should show them first? Well, I think we should show them the kittens. Okay. The kittens. It takes forever to well. Let's just try. Okay. No, I want to. I want to try the creeper trap. Right. Let's do it. Well, what you do is you get iron doors, and you need a pressure plate, and you need a, a creeper, and you pre put a pressure plate right there. You do this, and they have to be facing like this and whenever you spawn the creeper in there it'll lock up like that and if you want to tame it well it doesn't work with me because I need something well there's supposed to be dirt there and you can put the rose there and the daisy there so put there You know, Daisy here, and whenever you do it, it should put its head down, like completely down, and then you can break the doors or let it out or something, and it should, it shouldn't blow up like that, but since I'm on uh, easy, it's not, you have to hit it, hit it to make it blow up. Why don't you check them now? And they haven't made a baby yet, so... I bet they're getting to it. They're getting near to it. I thought they did. That's why I'm circling it. But wait, wait, go away, go away. They're near. Oh, damn it. But uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to build a house. So we're gonna build it out of oak wood planks and um, torches, torches and wooden doors. Mm, what else? Oh, we need fence. Why? Hold on. Oh, for fence. the animals. And you need wood half blocks or oak wood slabs. Uh, gotta make sure that's okay. Now you're gonna do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do a nine by nine square like this. And then fill it in with oak wood. And then fill the floor in with any kind of whatever you want. So I'll just kind of haul this out here and you can fill it in with whatever you want. Why don't you put Papa's lazuli in to make it look like car I mean, carpet? Nah. I'll just leave it hollow and you can do whatever you want. Alright. But talking to? I'm talking to the people oh. watching the video. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. Okay. Um, what are you going to put on as the ground? I'm not going to put anything as the floor. You're going to keep it as that? I'm going to keep it like that, but whenever you do it, it should have like a door right there. 
and then you know you can do that. Yeah, are you making a uh, basement? Made it completely a line of it's nine by nine square. Can you split nines in half? No, it's an odd number. Okay, we'll do a double door. Go check the the villager thing. No button yet. Well, they should mate. They should go into love mode like that. But for some reason, they're not right now. But hopefully in the next update for Minecraft, they come out with where you can trade villagers for stuff, like you can in the PC version. Um, hopefully. But hopefully 4J Studios does that, so. 4J, if you're watching this, please do that. And, uh, put emeralds in the game, 4J. And, um, that's about it that I have to say. Uh, oh, yeah, put mob spawners, too. Hmm? Mob spawners would be cool if you put them in the game. Where you can, like, place them. You can pick them up if you break them inside a dungeon. Okay, guys. I'm also going to be showing you how to build a basement. No. A X-ray machine. So you can search for dungeons and caverns and stuff. And I'm going to show you how to build the house first and then I'm going to do the um X-ray machine. And um It's actually really cool. All you need is a sticky piston, TNT, and a pressure plate. So, um, and then you can take it like this. What are you doing? doing this because I'm going to do the outline of it. I'm going to be doing the outline of the porch. It's a nice little porch area to sit down and, you know, drink your coffee in the morning and stuff. Or drink your splash potion or whatever. your water. Yeah, drink your water. So that's why you need a fence? No. Well, yeah, basically. Why are you why do you have the wood slabs then? Because I'll sh I'm gonna show you something that looks pretty cool. Corners. 
can't do this, you know? Flat here and connect it to your house. And then what you do is you take a post and you put it like that. And you take it and you put it like that. And it kind of looks like it's holding it up, you know? And then uh, I'm going to put, put, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to fill this in. And uh, it takes forever, but it's really cool. I like the house. And like I said in the last video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a hair braid spawner. Um, it doesn't work for some reason in my version that I have right now, but it's it, apparently it works in all the other versions. So if it did work, this house would be worthless to build. Right what do you now. mean? Huh? What do you mean? This house would be worthless to build. If if it if the Hero Brand Spawner did work, this house would be worthless to build. True. He burns down almost everything you can find. He puts lava yeah. in water and it can't be out put out by the water. So uh, now I'm gonna show you how to build the X ray machine. So what you need are TNT. You sticky need piston. sticky piston. TNT. TNT. You need a wooden pressure plate, and you need something to sh uh, throw up onto the pressure plate. So what you're going to do is come over here and dig four down, and then you're going to dig this one right here, this one right here, and that top one right there. And what you do is you put the sticky piston right there, the TNT there. You go up here, put the pressure pad there. Now, watch whenever I throw the uh, piece of whatever onto the pressure. Oh, look, a dungeon is right there. But whenever I throw it onto the pressure pad, it comes down. And look up, Jim. as you can see, um, it kind of shows you everything there is. It's like a little x ray thing. And there's a chest in there, huh? Um, I'm gonna go check this out. But uh, that's how you build a x-ray machine. It's kind of simple, really. I mean, just let me uh, fill this back in here. I'm getting into your house. I'm getting into your house, Dylan. Yeah. I don't care. You don't care if he breaks the door. But uh, here's my world. It'll show everything that is underground. It'll show all the clear stuff will be just solid blocks, and everything else will be like caverns and stuff. It's really, really cool, and I really like it. So um, you can build a X-ray machine like this, and um, here is the uh. Here, Brian Spawner has to be on like an elevated area, like a. Did you want to check your villagers? Now? Nah, why not? Cause I don't want to. They're right over there, man. Yeah. But you 
get a flat place like this, and you grab gold, and nether rack, mossy stone, redstone torch, uh, moss stone, and uh, that's about it. And you take it like this, and you build three by that. Three. You build a three by three square. Put the moss stone in the middle. But and you um, need flint and steel. Yeah, um, I just remember that. Or a fire charge. You need flint and steel, or, a or fire, fire charge. And you put the things like that. And then you put the another rack right there. And then you light it on fire, and Herobrine should spawn uh, somewhere around here. Um, 30 seconds after you light it, he should spawn somewhere in the area. But, um, yeah. That's pretty much it about that. Um, he just spawned in here. What? He just spawned here. He did? Yeah. No, it, it doesn't work in this one. How do you know? Because we've already tried it, remember? But, uh, yeah. You That's know, usually what's supposed to happen. You villagers aren't alive. Wait, what? Oh. I think you can get in. Oh, they spawned in there. Maybe you should put some torches up around it. I like setting spiders on fire. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, what else were we gonna do? Another room? Another portal? An end portal? No. What did I say we were gonna do after the um, hair runs I don't know. Well, uh, um, I don't know what I was going to do after that. Oh, yeah, I was going to do the cannon. You were? Yeah. I'm going to do the cannon. What you need is you need TNT. Redstone. Redstone. A lever. Water. And you need a bucket of water. And what you're going to do is you build Four that. Two by two. Two by two. You want a three by three, put TNT right there, leave the middle solid, put the redstone around there, torch there, redstone, redstone, like this, and put the water in there, and you should do that, and you flip your switch again. And it does that. It launches you up in the air. And notice how it doesn't do anything to anything around it. Uh, that's the water. It absorbs the shock from the TNT. And if you don't believe me, I'm going to do it one more time. So it's actually pretty fun. Show them the bigger one. The bigger one? Yeah. Well, I can't remember how to do the stairs for the redstone. But, uh... Yeah. Doesn't do a single thing. So, uh, leave a like, comment, and, um, I think that's about it for this video. I think so too. Um, you guys have a so, uh, good time. see you guys later. Next episode. See you next episode. Bye.